Alright fellas, now it seemed like every year for the last 6 years, it comes around that Broner's finally making a proper long awaited comeback, and then every year, he usually pretty much doesn't. Then another year goes by and all of a sudden wow he's back again. But this fight he's gonna have this weekend actually might be his toughest challenge since Pacquiao. And you might not have been aware that it's actually going down. So today we're gonna talk about this upcoming fight against Blair the Flair Cobbs, why this fight's being promoted by Don King out of all people, and what to expect. So let's get right into it. This weekend, we're presented with the matchup of Adrian Broner vs Blair Cobbs. Broner of course is a huge name, his most famous battles coming against fighters such as Pacquiao, Sean Porter and Maidanda alongside many more, a 4 division world champion who was really let down by his own discipline. He's always been on the lips of many people, both loved and hated, for his antics inside and outside the ring. His opponent, Blair Cobbs, might have gone under the radar for you. He's a Philly boxer who boxes out of Vegas with a record of 16-1-1. Really, he's most known for his flamboyant and out there personality, which saw him get a cult-like following. With no world-class names on his resume, he was on the path to get some big money matchups until he was stopped by Alexis Rocha in March of 2022 in the 9th round by knockout. Since then, he hasn't taken a fight, until now against Broner. To be honest, this whole fight promotion is just weird. Don King, yes, that Don King is promoting this fight. I like to the start of the video, he just fits that meme. The man is 92 and still promoting fights, and god he brings the 80s with him. Like just look at this fight poster. It's just like he's got his 14 year old grandson to design it, and to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually the case. All 5 promotions I've seen lately from Don King look straight out of 1984, including that last Broner fight, and somehow a Dubois fight? But that Dubois fight just shows that King is still up to his old tricks. Now of recent, King has tried to make a comeback with his biggest signing being Broner, and of course, the second biggest being Cobbs. So weirdly when this fight was announced, I didn't even realise, because it was at the bottom right of this fight poster saying that the fight was going to happen only if Broner actually showed up. Now I'm not a marketing genius, but this is a pretty fascinating way to sell a fight. When I saw this I was just like, yeah, this fight isn't happening. It was just teased to sell tickets to whatever that main fight is. But no, this fight is actually happening. And I think I won't really believe it till fight night, but yes, it's happening. And I gotta say, I'm kinda excited for this fight. Just from the announcement, I thought it was really too good to be true. Both are loudmouth exciting boxers, and both will truly bring it on the night. I really thought I like other Don King fight nights that it would all go under the radar for everyone. Usually there's little to no promotion, by the time people know what's happening, the fight's over and Broner's mouthing off in 240p and it's already been posted all over Twitter blog accounts. Yet, we actually have got some promotion out of this fight. I put this down to the two fighters themselves. Both of them have massive egos, and have massive mouths. The first thing I saw were the both of them mouthing off at each other at some sort of open workout, but then people are saying they were training at the same place and it wasn't an open workout, but to be honest I have no idea. Either way there was a little clash which seemed to generate some hype. Then yesterday at the official press conference, once again, please hire someone to do better, like look at that lightning bro, it's just, it's just bad. But Brown admitted to some interesting actions during the press conference and that's probably the only reason you've heard about this fight. So with all the craziness aside, this fight is set to take place in a couple days, and well, what should you expect? Well Cobbs is known for his high energy, aggressive style, relying on his speed and athleticism. He fights in a southpaw stance that is usually pretty unpredictable. His defense though can be a bit lacking, with his aggression being open to counter punches. His loss against Rocha really showed this vulnerability. That vulnerability will be hugely problematic, going against the highly skilled counterbuncher, which is Adrian Broner. Broner has really good defense, and uses the Mayweather-ish shoulder roll to deflect punches, creating openings for the counters. His experience is a valuable asset. His ability to adapt and withstand pressure is a huge advantage, although his lack of consistent bouts might affect his timing and stamina, with his last couple fights really showing that. Now expect Cobbs to come out aggressively, he'll try to set a fast pace and apply pressure to Broner. He will likely aim to disrupt Broner's rhythm and capitalize on any defensive lapses, while Broner will likely focus on defense and counterpunching, aiming to exploit an aggressive Cobbs. His IQ will be crucial in setting traps and finding openings. Who do I expect to win? Well, I think Broner will probably snatch the victory. He looks like he's in the best shape he's been in for a little while, and if he's had a proper camp, it's hard to go against him. Broner will have ring rust, but so will Cobbs. 
both coming off layoffs attempting to try prove a point and re-establish themselves. Yet there is a possibility that Cobb somehow outworks Broner or potentially gets a late stoppage, but I would probably still sit on that Broner is most likely to ride it out to a decision or get a real late stop. Overall, the fight promises excitement due to its contrasting styles and its incredibly high stakes for both of them, as it really signals the end of the loser's career. Cobb is seeking to prove himself against the veteran, while Broner is trying to put himself out there once again as a top name. But I want to hear what you think. Have you heard about this fight? Thoughts on who would win, and I'd also love to hear your thoughts on Broner, Cobbs, and especially Don King. But just quickly though, if this is your first time watching one of these videos, my name is Cloyster and I make boxing and fight sport related content and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you would consider liking or subscribing. But hope you enjoyed the vid and I'll catch you in the next one.